This C-17 will be the vehicle that brings military personnel who have been infected with a contagious disease in foreign lands back home. Current Department of Defense policy was to treat infected patients in place, but after last year's Ebola outbreak in West Africa, all of that changed. We would normally treat in place, but things are such a pandemic, we would need, an op we need a way to get our military troops back home. So let's design a system that if, if, if that were to happen, we could get them back. Military medical personnel can transport multiple patients inside this C-17. In Africa, if you, they sometimes have to transport patients one at a time, and the person who's waiting over there is, is not able to get the medical care that's ideal. So this is mainly a patient safety thing. Multiple patients transferred quickly. The containment units are impressive. One that can transport multiple patients contaminated by infectious disease. There's also a unit to house personnel and a unit that allows a patient to be completely isolated. The plane will be completely staffed with doctors, nurses, and other medical staff dressed in layers of protective clothing, masks, and air filters. Medical officials from Nebraska Medicine were here to watch the demonstration. Even though the last Ebola patient was in November, we've been doing a lot of teaching and planning, and, and this is a, a very high-level drill that will involve both the transport to, by air, the ground transport. Often officials demonstrated the entire process, moving the patients to waiting medical units that would take the patients to Nebraska Medicine for treatment. Is this for military personnel only, this transport? Well, I'm not really sure exactly how, it's because it comes way from the Secretary of Defense down to Joint Chief of Staff of how we're tasked for it. Military officials say they are ready to go if they need to get our troops who have an infectious disease back home for medical care. With photographer Mike Plew, John Chapman, WOWT 6 News.